that might be the cleanest thing that I've seen her put in her mouth in this whole video. So good for you. The final boss of all crazy people on the Russian internet. Sleeps with homeless people, eats okay. from trash cans, licks cars. She is pretty wild. Me pretty wild. Do you know where I'm from? I am from the South. This is pretty normal Tuesday activity for us. So I don't I don't know who you're calling wild, but I am offended already. Lapa Hapa, once beauty influencer, now an internet clown, who is also kind of bad. God damn! And also I mean, you know, person who maybe a little bit. National tragedies. How did this all happen though? Previet. Previet. I was chilling, minding my own business, and then I get a message. Dude, you have to check this girl out. She's insane. And then there was a link to her Telegram. I clicked and I was greeted with this page. Lapa Hapa, 3,000 followers? Who is this Lapa Hapa? Oh, wait, there is a post from this morning. I noticed there is an absurd amount of comments. So I went in there. And yeah, when th whenever there's going to be a lot of comments as opposed to updutes or whatever you want to call them, it's probably going to be pretty controversial, pretty controversial. And I, I could see why so far, you know, um, the Ru Russians are Russians are just built different. They're just built different. I don't have mean things to say. I don't have nice things to say. And it was a chat room full of kids sending voice messages to each other. I didn't hesitate and I sent them a lovely voice message of my own. And I even got a heart from Sonichka. Shout out to Sonichka. However, I still didn't understand what is all this hype about. So I decided to do some detective work, find out who this girl is. And oh my God, as soon as I started digging through her telegram, I soon realized that I got myself into another freak tuber swamp. This girl is insane. The problem is like, the problem is this is my kryptonite. I think that I could fix them, right? I think that I could fix them, but uh, I know I can't, plus I'm married, so that wouldn't be good to try to fix anyway. Just let him go. Just let him go. Let him go. Let him go. And despite she might seem hot on some posts, trust me, you can't fix her. Yeah, I'm looking at you, goose. <laughs> Don't think you guys are safe from me. I read every single comment, and if I see at least one Coomer comment under this video, I'm calling in an airstrike. I'm not dealing with this. After 24 hours of digging, I was done. And here's my report on Lapa Hapa. Or should I say Katya? Wait, Dasha. Well, her name is actually unknown. But these two names could be seen in the comments and in her videos more than often. Besides that, we know that she's from St. Petersburg, very okay. beautiful city, that she's 25 years old, and that she has Telegram channel and Instagram. But that's it, really. We don't really know much about her background. On the 10th of March this year, she puts out this post where she's promoting her sexy stuff. If you click on the link however you're greeted with a request to join these other two channels and then it's kind of weird don't um don't click links provided to you by moderately attractive women online it's either going to be you subscribing to their uh their their fan club or you're going to wake up with a kidney missing um and she's russian so there's a good chance you're gonna be missing a kidney in the morning you will be let in it looks like a scam i'm definitely not gonna join and you shouldn't either the deeper you go in the telegram the more cringe stuff you find that's the thing why why is her lip so big like no no get I mean, that's an example. That's definitely an example. But why is her lip so big? Like, normal, you can't, she doesn't have a bottom lip. Like, I understand getting lip injections, but why not equal, even, like, even both of them out? Like, this is, that's a style choice. A real interesting style choice. Her content revolves around controversy. That's all she does. She baits clicks, likes, views, just like me. But at least my feet don't look like feet after an expedition into mortar. <laughs> Dane, try explaining to your wife. I would not be able to get my hand back there far enough to get them out. That would be my only explanation to my wife. Um, I just...
I don't know what to say. I, I'm kind of taken aback at this whole thing. I understand being a clout demon, but um, I feel like it's kind of going too far in a society and culture that's not really as progressive as we are over here in the West. Um, so Russia might not be a good place to do this in. I got some random panties in your hoodie. She comes up to random people and asks them whether they would sleep with her. And usually they are not into it. But some people are down bad. Пойдем куда-нибудь. Куда пойдем? У меня некуда пойти. О, о. But it's not all she does. She also sings. Um, you know, I I firmly feel that we should not be discriminating against the homeless. Um, however, I did not know that was a uh, uh, thing when they said "go fuck the homeless" that they literally meant it. Um, okay, we we understand now. Well, it doesn't end there. Apart from just being annoying, she also does very questionable stuff overall. Where did that bottle come from? Where was that bottle hiding? I'm I'm afraid to go back and find out, but like part of me is morbidly curious to know. Um. Oh, okay. She had it in her she had it in her hand. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not what I thought. Okay, okay. Um, it's my fault. My mind just goes to these dark places where they shouldn't be. She also likes to lick cars. That might be the cleanest thing that I've seen her put in her mouth in this whole video. So good for you. By the way, did you see her lips? Botox, you say? Hell nah, it's homemade. Oh, synthol. She also seems to have some obsession with Red Bulls, as I have seen her open up like hundreds of those. Lapa is another trash tuber from Telegram. Nothing we haven't seen before, however. She does everything that other trash bloggers already did and just replicates it. She flushes her head into the toilet. Hilmi did the same thing. She is harassing random people on the street. Yula has been there, done that. Lapa eats random stuff. We do not talk about this person. And I still have nightmares. She's like a Frankenstein monster made from all the Russian trash bloggers, but she does in fact do something new. She does homeless people. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm scared of anybody that would put bodily fluids inside of their body that aren't the normal body fluids that people would put inside their body. So, um, it's kind of weird, kind of weird. Like literally, this lady has sexy time with bombs left and right. I guess street people are not gonna say no to that, but I guess nobody told them that she probably had every disease imaginable to a humankind. Now I feel kind of bad for these people. Imagine you're just wiping outside and then... There's also a video of staplering her friends, but I can't show this really because it's too far. But yeah, that's wild. Her friend's nickname is Zanny Bunny. And that brings me to the next point. I don't think Lapa is clean. And now I'm not talking about her dusty feet. I mean, like, she wouldn't pass a drug test. She constantly has these meltdowns in her videos and psycho attacks. Like, she's not having a good time. You don't think that she would pass a drug test? Did you see her eyes? Her eyes are the size of half dollars. I thoroughly thought she was possessed. So, um, yeah, you're probably right on that analysis that she would not pass a drug test. But she's kind of a bad person. And now I'm not talking about her playing this dumb bimbo role with that fake anime voice she puts on. 
if you didn't know there was a terrorist attack in russia some time ago it was very sad and devastating for the whole country you know what she does the same day she puts up ads on her telegram channel saying real footage from shootout and links some not safe for work channels i don't think that's okay like that's just milking tragedy but it doesn't stop there she constantly has ads on casinos legal sites with dark stuff and some very bad things i can't even say now when you think of it i don't really think that person who is addicted to drugs would be reasonable with money as she must be making a bag from these telegram channels i think she would just spend all the money on white powder or on clothes she actually has drip i have to admit however i genuinely think this girl is a project there's no way you blow up this much in spam of two months already have that sounds right she's probably a psyop um definitely definitely a russian psyop to try to invade the west um and bring that um god you know i don't want i don't want to say gopnik because it's not a gopnik culture um i don't know what this is um just some strange behavior that uh eastern women slavic women exude um i guess i guess the people that's not fair that's not fair because the women or i don't want to say the women some women here in the west in the united states exhibit similar behavior it's just different because i think the cultures are a little bit different but yeah same thing same thing in views on your first post i don't know if that's bad or actual people who were brought to a channel from other channels but then again you need a lot of money to pull up an ad campaign to get these numbers and she was kind of normal in these beauty videos she used to do a while ago and out of nowhere she shifts into this so therefore i think it's fake or is it? So there is only one question I have. Is she okay? I couldn't sleep without an answer. So I decided to DM her on Instagram and oh. let's hope I will receive an answer soon. If you're still watching this, join our Discord channel, link down below. That's it, bye bye. That was good. Um, strange, very strange. Um, also the fact that he went for the seven minute mark as opposed to the eight minute mark is uh, very commendable. Um, so there was no mid roll ads. Uh, this girl's weird. Um, I get it though, especially if you're getting all this attention from it, maybe there's an underlying mental health issue. There's gotta be, there's gotta be no one with a rational mind does sneak a level shit. Okay. Um, but to each their own i'm not god i'm not gonna judge you i'm judging you heavily but i'm not gonna judge you i guess it just kind of is what it is let me know what you guys thought of this video if you want to see more stuff like this hit the like button hit the subscribe button come be a member of the royal family i'll see y'all later peace